the home that she deserves. Finding a dog like Venus a home is going to be a challenge. We headed back to team headquarters to get to work. Hi, Venus. The first thing we want to do with Venus is give her a hygienic grooming. It makes her feel better, first of all, and that's really important. The second thing is there might be hidden issues that we can't really see until we do that initial grooming. Say, girl, let's have a bath. This is a special, extremely moisturizing shampoo with a lot of essential fatty acids in it. We're going to loosen up this undercoat and even this top coat. <laughs> Whoa! So this is all the stuff that I want out in the grooming room and not on her new family's carpet. Look at all the hair. Vina sheds like it's her job, but it's actually a problem that can really be controlled through really consistent grooming. She's getting the works today. Good girl. Yeah, she doesn't like to stand on this foot. No. You can already tell if you can just support her with the tiniest oh. bit. If you have a dog that doesn't really like the toothbrush, you can see just with a little bit of gauze, I can get a lot of this tartar off. Whoa. Wow. Her teeth are completely ground down. I've never seen anything like this. I'm looking at the root of this dog's teeth. When Allie pulled back Venus's lips and showed her teeth, I was shocked. I can't imagine what she's been going through. Oh, she's been chewing to get out of her crate. There's a circular thing right here. That's exactly the shape oh, of it. Oh, yeah. And there yep. she just started doing it. Yep. Oh, my god, I'm going to cry. I think that she was nursing on the bar of a crate her when she was a puppy. Chewing is a natural stress reliever for dogs, sort of gets rid of all that extra energy. Venus's only option when she was feeling pent up was to actually chew on the bars of the cage. And she did it so often that she wore her teeth down to the nubs. But the good news is that she doesn't really need those teeth to chew her food, and she will be just fine. While Allie finishes cleaning up our pup, David is working on Venus's temporary new home. Life in a shelter is so different than life in a home. Venus has probably never had her own bed or even really stepped foot on a carpet. I really wanted to give her a taste of the good life. I had to keep everything low to the ground. The last thing I wanted was for her to jump up on something and maybe fall and hurt her foot. With Venus all comfy and cozy, the team and I get to work on finding her new family. So guys, I want you to take a look at this. I think we found a forever home for Venus. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, they're twins. Don't get the trouble. Hi, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Sean. And we live in Brentsville, Connecticut. We wanted to adopt a shelter dog because we had a tough time in our life, too. Um, when we moved out of North Carolina, we ended up moving in with our in-laws and uh, sleeping in the, the uh, basement, all five of us, for, for about a year. The kids each slept on a twin mattress on the floor, and we shared a full-size mattress. The boys were great. They never complained once about anything that happened uh, when we were staying in the basement. And we promised them if they could just be good about it and just deal with the situation when we got into our own place, we would get them a dog. <laughs> we have a beautiful home now with a big backyard, and uh, they really earned it, and it's time for them to show the love that uh, we were shown by our family. Whose room is the dog staying in? <laughs> We got some boys here. That's right. <laughs> we live in 1,700 square foot old farmhouse, four bedrooms. Each kid has their own bedroom now, but it's the outside that sold us. We've built a small baseball field for the boys. It's a great environment for them and a great environment to bring a dog into. First thing I wanted to do when I get my dog is um, to teach it fetch. It's very important to have somebody there when you need them to keep you warm and safe and a roof over your head. It's the same for a, a sheltered dog. Some of dogs in the shelter haven't even had a family yet. <laughs> the kids have a lot of love, a lot of love, and they're going to shower this dog with all the love that they have. You know what I love about this family? It's just so similar to Venus's story. Yeah. You know, Venus yeah, has is. been in nothing but shelters her entire life, oh. and now she has that same chance. So I think they're really going to identify with each other, and that's going to lead them to be patient with her and also work with her, and they're just going to be a great match. The plan is for Andrea to assess the effects a lifetime spent in a shelter has had on Venus's personality, and then come up with a training strategy. David will build the ultimate doggy dream house for Venus and the boys to play in, and Allie will work on getting Venus's major shedding problem under control. Let's get to it. Let's go. 
Coming up, David and I pay the halls a visit. Who's excited to see their new dog? Plus, Venus's condition takes an unexpected turn. I would recommend surgical fixation. I didn't expect this. I thought maybe she'd have a brace. But will the halls stand by her side? There is going to be a lot of rehab involved. When Underdog to Wonder Dog returns, Original Bud Classic that started it all. Check out Dad's first starring role. Air Bud Special Edition. You look so young. Now I know where I got my moves from. With an all-new Buddy's commentary. He's talking about us. Air Bud Special Edition on Disney DVD March 3rd, rated PG. We have four children. I usually make the oatmeal. Quaker oatmeal. They all have their favorite flavors. Kathleen likes cinnamon roll. Anna is maple brown sugar. Sean is apples and cinnamon. It tastes awesome. Quaker oatmeal. Every day should be this good. How much refreshment does just one dollar buy? Well, that depends who's pouring. Kool-Aid, delivering more smiles per gallon. Imagine the expertise. A panel of dermatologists evaluating your aging skin concerns. That's what you get with new Olay Professional Pro-X. A specialized team of dermatologists and Olay have designed Pro-X to resignal your skin so it performs more like it did when it was younger. Younger acting, younger looking skin. For clinically proven results in 28 days guaranteed. Potent, proven, professional. New Olay Professional Pro-X. Moms know kids need calcium, but they also need vitamin D to help absorb calcium. With YoPlay Kids, Trix Yogurt, and Gogurt, they get both. YoPlay, the one for kids. Mighty Heroic. <laughs> Mighty Dog. Better, faster, stronger. Oh. Jockeys, all new, Friday at 9 on Animal Planet. Hey, I'm Ray Ellen. Check me out on BrainFuel TV and get a look at entertaining educational TV shows for home and school. BrainFuel TV hooks you up with awesome cable programs, websites, and resources for the classroom. Stay up on the latest trends in learning with BrainFuel TV. Another innovative series, free to watch anytime when you have Comcast Digital Cable. To get it, call 1-800-COMCAST. If you want to know what your car is worth, check out vehicles.com and look up used vehicle values. Have you heard of this? Type in the make, the model, the year of your car. Boom, it gives you the price of your vehicle. And these are the real prices from the NADA guide. So you know you can trust it. It's so easy. vehicles.com knows what they're talking about. Get official NADA guide used car prices quickly and easily at vhicks.com, your online resource to find your ride. Search hundreds of thousands of vehicles on vhicks and find the one you want at a dealer near you. Abandoned as a puppy and passed over for adoption time and again, Venus, a one and a half year old lab with a deformed foot, has lived most of her life in a cage. We need Andrea to assess the effect long-term shelter life has had on her. My first concern is that Venus's life having been spent in a shelter might mean that she was never given the freedom to express her natural instinct to play and to retrieve. Okay. So I want to test a little bit. We're going to use a few toys to give her some options. So you get to hold these two. Labrador Retrievers are amazing companions. Um, part of the reason they're so wonderful is because they love to go get things for us and bring them back and give them to us. <laughs> Do you like this one? You think you want to play? Ready? Go get it. What? Go, oh, what happened? honey! Wait, what happened? Oh. What happened? Why didn't she... I don't think that she ever had anybody to show her what these toys are all about. Labrador Retrievers usually really love to run and play, especially fetch games, but Venus really doesn't seem interested. So it could be due to the fact that she was raised in a shelter and is really lacking in socialization and play skills, but it might be also due to the fact that she's feeling some pain in her foot. So I think this is something we need to investigate further. David and I are on our way to see the Hall family and check out Venus's new home. Hey, what's up, hey. guys? Hey. Who's excited to see their new dog? Yay! 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 So you ready to see her? Yeah! All right, here we go. She looks like a snow dog. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see her run. <laughs> I want to see her run even more. 
See her tail wagging? She's really friendly. She loves people. That's her big thing. Uh, yeah. I think the boys are very excited about having a, a dog. They've been waiting a long time for this. I think they're going to be best friends. I'm excited to play with Venus so much. I want to tell you a little bit about Venus's story. She's lived in a shelter her entire life, so she's never had a home. You see her leg right there? Yeah, her leg is a little deformed. It's a little twisted right there. So for that reason, a lot of people have looked past Venus. But Venus is the most friendly dog you will ever see. I feel sad for Venus because she had no real family, and everyone didn't like her because of her leg. And it doesn't really matter about her leg. From the very beginning, we thought you guys were a great match for Venus because you've been through hard times, and you needed help to get to where you are now. And now you've got this great, beautiful home. And Venus has had that same hard time kind of life. It's about being a family, mm -hmm. and she'll be part of the family. We're excited to give Venus a new home. <laughs> I love the Hall family. They are so excited. They're so energetic. <laughs> the boys, wow. Unbelievable. These guys have so much energy. Oh. Ah. Show me where the tree fort's going to be. Right guys. there. I know they love baseball. And I know that they want a fort of some kind so that they have a place to come back here, hang out with Venus. And Venus also needs to have her own little spot. The Hall family has so much love and energy to give to Venus. It's like they're waiting for that next family member to come along. When I first assessed Venus, it was clear that something was affecting her natural instinct to play. Hey, go get it. What? Go, oh, what happened? Honey. She really had no interest in fetching. So I need to assess to see if it has something to do with her lack of socialization or maybe something with her foot. So I brought her back to the park today to see. The first thing we're going to do is just see if we can even get her interested in the toy. And that means that we're going to try and squeak it a little bit. And I'm going to play a little hide and seek game and see if she wants to try and find it. It took no time for Andrea to get Venus interested in playing. You could really see her natural instincts coming back. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we got a little bit. Got a moment. Oh, see, we got a little yeah. bit of tug. Oh, okay, this is a good moment. This is good, right? Because now she knows. If I were to take one big step and just toss the toy, hoping that she'd go get it. Can you go get that? Nothing happens. No, she doesn't know what to do. Nothing. No. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> okay, she might fetch a squirrel. <laughs> whoa! Whoa. We had one ray of hope. When that little squirrel appeared. You were the little squirrel hunter? Look at that. Well, she likes squirrels. So this is great to see because this is her natural instinct coming out. When Venus saw that squirrel, her natural instinct to play definitely kicked in. But when it comes to toys, she really has no interest in playing. And I think it may have to do with the pain in her foot, so we definitely need to get it checked out. Meanwhile, up in Connecticut, David is just getting started on his special project for Venus. I know the boys really love playing baseball, and I know that they want to be able to do sports with Venus. And somehow, some way, I'm going to have to find a way to incorporate that into my project. All my years of construction, I've always had to battle through weather, whether I had to get heaters or tarps or whatever it has to be. And this is not going to be any different. I've got to get this done for the family. I want Venus here at her forever home, and I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to get her here. What are you guys doing? You promised David no peeking. Let's I go. Can see After Andrea's training session, it just seemed like Venus's foot was a bigger problem than we initially thought. So I decided to make an appointment with an orthopedic specialist. So basically, I'm going to complete an orthopedic exam. So we're going to need to put her on her side okay. so that I can feel all the bones and the joints in her legs, OK? OK, sweetheart. OK, OK. Basically, I'm palpating all of her bones and her joints and putting them through the normal range of motion. The doctor manipulated that one joint, bam, 
She just jumps. That hurts. It's okay, it's okay, sweetheart. Okay, so that hurts. So okay, I know that, hurt. that she has a lot of abnormal feeling in that joint, again, associated with this um, deformity that she has here in her limb. And what's it usually from? It's usually from trauma to a certain part of the bone or the joint. We'll definitely need to take some x-rays of actually both this limb and her normal limb for comparison so we can decide if she needs to have surgery to fix this. OK. OK? You know, anybody who's ever taken a pet to the veterinarian and has to wait for results will tell you it's very stressful. But waiting to hear what it was really going to be was difficult. Hey, hey welcome there, for Okay, so doctor, how is she? I would recommend surgical fixation for her, and what that would entail is... I didn't expect this. I thought maybe she'd have a brace. Venus has um, an angular limb deformity. It's called a carpal valgus. And if you can see here, this is her normal limb. And see how it looks pretty straight up and down here? Mm -hmm. And then we take a look at her abnormal limb, and you can see it takes this huge curve. The doctor mentioned that this was a case where Venus's bone was not only twisted, but actually turned outward. The reason why that happens is the growth plate here has ceased to grow, and this bone continues to grow. So as this bone continues to grow, it pushes the bone out to the side. So I think it's more likely that this is not a congenital problem, that it's due to an injury of that area where the bone grows. After the doctor confirmed that Venus's deformity was probably due to the fact that she had had a breakage when she was a young dog, it means she has suffered probably every day of her life since then. Recovery will probably take around six to eight weeks, uh, but once the bone is completely healed, she can start running and playing probably somewhere in about three to four months after surgery. Okay. But your feeling is she has to have it. Well, if we don't have the surgery, she will go on to form a lot of arthritis in that joint. And if she were my dog, I'd, I'd go forward with the surgery. I think we have a good chance to give her a better outcome later on in life. All right, are you ready, Venus? All right, come on, honey. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I would feel devastated if the Hall family rejected her because she needs surgery. The family, I think, loves Venus from what they've seen, but this is not easy for any family to take. When we return, the team and I have a serious talk with the Halls about Venus's future. I was definitely nervous to tell the Hall family about Venus. But we wanted to get your feeling as to whether or not you still wanted to take Venus in. We want to talk it over with the kids first. Plus, Venus's future hangs in the balance as we take her in for surgery. Everything right now is riding on this surgery. If it doesn't go well, she could have lifelong arthritis. We can't have that happen. When Underdog to Wonder Dog returns. Oh, how much are these? No, oh, those aren't for sale. Oh, I'm sorry. My mom's a little crazy about her antiques. Antiques? They're rollover minutes. Yeah, from like six months ago. But they're still good. You know, saving minutes saves money. And these days, we can't afford to be wasteful. Not everyone gets to keep their unused minutes. Oh, cool. Uh, 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 uh. Beat it, kid. Only AT&T's family talk with rollover saves your family's unused minutes. And saving minutes saves money. Get the touchscreen view for $49.99 after mail-in rebate, only from AT&T. The nose knows. Now you're talking. And nobody's nose knows more than Pinocchio's nose. Gee, thanks. Disney's fun-filled classic Pinocchio. Rated G on DVD and Blu-ray combo pack March 10th. Bacon? Gotta get that bacon. Smoky bacon, crispy bacon, tasty bacon. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the bacon? Bacon popular. Story at 11. Yummy, crunchy bacon. Bacon! There in that <gasps> bag! Who wants a bacon strip? Me! I get it myself, but I don't have thumbs! Yum, 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 yum. It's bacon! Mm, I love you. I love bacon. bacon I love strips. you. I love bacon. There's no bacon. time like bacon time. Go to bacontime.com and show us how hilarious bacon time is with you and your dog. Oh, I just don't seem to sweat anymore. Everybody sweats. Especially now during tax time. Oh, I don't worry about my taxes. I got people. The H&R Block guarantee. Guaranteed accuracy. And we stand behind you if you get audited. H&R Block. You've got people. Add a little meat and cheese, and the potato becomes even more impressive. Thanks, Idaho. We owe you one. Three new creations from IHOP. Served with pancakes and eggs at the International House of Loaded Country Hash Browns. Try IHOP for dinner, too. When is a single not a single? when it's turned into a smile. Because for just under a dollar, we can whip up a delicious Kraft Singles grilled cheese sandwich with a bowl of yummy tomato soup. Who knew a single could be worth so much? Kraft Singles. Goodness squared.
Now, give your kids more smiles for under a single. Get an exclusive download from the Jonas Brothers, the 3D concert experience in theaters February 27th at Disney.com slash craft singles. A deadly blast. Almost all life wiped out. And that's just the first mass extinction. Animal Armageddon brings to life an unprecedented vision of ancient Earth. The catastrophes, the resiliency, and the epic struggle to survive. Animal Armageddon, all new episode Thursday at 9, only on Animal Planet. Daringly dark, richly nutritious, enriched with antioxidants. New Northland dark fruit juices, the power of dark fruit. I have seen your moments, but my skin shouldn't. New Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring Lotion. Seven moisturizers, three vitamins, plus CoQ10 to help skin renew itself. Can your lotion do that? Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring. This stuff really works. Hi, I'm Dr. Bradley J. Dar, owner of Manchester Family Dental. Let me show you the latest products and advances of cosmetic, restorative, and orthodontic dentistry. It's easy. Just press 888 on your Comcast digital remote. Choose My Life on Demand, My Smile, and Dental and Ortho. Then find out about the technologies and procedures used to get that perfect smile. Why not take a moment to check it out? Your perfect smile is only a click away on demand at 888. Monday on an all-new Little People Big World. Amy and the kids vacation at her folks' cabin, and some things never change. Look in the rearview mirror. More, more. It was almost like I was one of the kids. Amy, no what? spitting over the rail. Then it's off to the Motor City. Hey, hi. Where it all began for Amy and Matt. I met Matt there 22 years ago. But when Zach meets Amy's old flame... Your yeah. Followed by an all-new John and Kate Plus 8. Monday, starting at 8, only on TLC. Just weeks ago, the team and I rescued Venus, a one-and-a-half-year-old Labrador retriever with a deformed foot who had spent almost her entire life in a shelter. In our brief time with Venus, we'd grown increasingly concerned about her foot. An orthopedic specialist recommended surgery. I think we have a good chance to give her a better outcome later on in life. The team and I are on our way to see the halls and break the news. I was definitely nervous to tell the Hall family about Venus because I wanted to make it clear how severe the situation was, but I also wanted them understanding that the long-term prognosis for Venus after the surgery was really good. Come on in. Come on All right. In. All right, guys. We'd like to talk to mom and dad for a second, so can you guys go upstairs and play? <laughs> we, from the very moment that we first saw Venus, we knew that there was something a little bit wrong with her walk. So we took her to a specialist at a hospital in Manhattan, one of the best hospitals in the country, mm -hmm. and did a series of tests, basically pulling her leg a little bit, manipulating it, and in this one point when she manipulated her leg, Venus basically jumped off the table. <laughs> we could see that there was pain, so she decided to take some x-rays. She basically has two malformed bones in that leg. So the doctors recommended that she have surgery. If we don't do the surgery, it means that Venus will be able to live, but not a life that has a great quality to it. You know, we really feel that this is the right decision in regards to the long-term happiness of her life. I had no idea watching the videos that Venus was ever in pain. It was more of a shock to me that all this time that she was in pain and she was dealing with it and she was still so happy. There is going to be a lot of rehab involved. For at least six to eight weeks after the surgery, Venus will really not be able to do much of anything. She'll have to spend a good part of her time resting quietly in her crate. It's really important that the boys really understand that as much as they want a dog who's active and they can play with, for that period of time, that's not going to be a possibility with Venus. But we wanted to get your feeling as to whether or not you still wanted to take Venus in. Obviously, it's a big move. After the surgery, five years down the road, what is her quality of life going to be like? Well, you know, to be realistic, she, no matter what, is probably going to have some pain due to arthritis throughout her life. If she doesn't have the surgery, she will be a dog who really will not be able to hardly walk, certainly won't be able to run and play. This is a decision that you have to make for you and your family. Whatever you feel is best for you is fine. You know, we will take care of Venus no matter what. She's a lovely dog. She would be a great companion for your family. But at the same time, we respect any decision that you make. We want to talk it over with the kids first. Okay. Okay. I was nervous that 
it was going to be a lot to take on the responsibility of, of Venus. I wanted to make sure we made the right decision for Venus and the boys. You don't understand what's going to happen. I definitely was concerned. I know it is a big decision, and there's a lot of elements to that decision. It's going to take time. It's going to take energy. It's going to take commitment. This is no walk in the park. What do you think is going to happen when she's better? If she comes home and she has to rest, it's OK with me. You want to work. I know. Are you ready to grow up? Yes, I already am grown up. No, you are. I think Venus is going to have a good life when her leg's fixed. Well, let's let him know. Let's, let's tell him. Let's tell Ryan. All right, guys, what's the decision? Yes. Yeah? Yes? Yeah? Good. You guys, she is going to be perfect for your family. She will. We know that. We decided that we were already committed to Venus, that after everything we've seen, we wanted to continue the process. And this is only going to make her better for our family. A deal's a deal. <laughs> this is the dog that was probably least likely to find a home. And it's just so great when the odds are so stacked against you that just the most wonderful things can happen. And just out of nowhere, it's a miracle. You know, even in the case where you know the surgery is really in the dog's best interest, it's still really stressful, and you can't help but feel a little guilty knowing that the dog's going to go through some pain. Let's get you ready for them boys up there, huh? It was really hard for me to see Venus off to surgery, and I hope somehow that she can pick up on the fact that everything's going to be OK. All right, Venus, we're just going to do a, a quick exam here to make sure that you can undergo anesthesia today. Doctor, she is shaking. She's, I think she knows where she, she is. She knows. It's very typical for them to be a little bit nervous here. So far, she looks really good. Her heart and lungs sound very good. She's very healthy. Her temperature's fine. This is a 3D model of her radius and ulna. Uh, this is her elbow joint, and this is her wrist joint. This is her right leg, which is normal. And you can see how it is a very severe deformity. How difficult of a process is this going to be? She'll basically have two rings on the radius like this. She'll also have one at an angle below the cut. We're going to place what's called an external fixator device. And basically, it is a series of rings, wires, and fixation elements that will allow us to stabilize the bone. The hinges and the motor allow us to make daily adjustments to the rings to correct the deformity over time. All right, Ryan, we'll take excellent care of her today, and we'll call you as soon as we're finished up with the surgery. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Everything right now is riding on this surgery. If it doesn't go well, she can have lifelong arthritis. We can't have that happen. We put all our chips on this surgery. It's got to go well. The surgery was a little bit longer than we had expected. Venus did have a very severe deformity, so we wanted to really take our time and make sure that everything was precisely placed. Hi, Ryan. Oh, we're all finished up with the surgery. Everything yeah. went very well. Um, we're really happy with, with how she's doing. She I feel so good. good for Venus right now. With all she's been through, she's going to be OK. You know, when we walked into the examining room, thump, 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 and I look over, and it's her tail. To me, that was, she was all right. The surgery itself took about four hours, um, but she did very well under anesthesia. Basically, over time, we will make these rings more parallel and make her leg straight. Thank you so no, much. You're, cool. you're very welcome. Coming up, Venus faces her long road to recovery. Over time, these will become parallel. Plus, the Hall family starts getting anxious. I think it's been a struggle for the family. When's Venus coming home? She's coming home soon, Trev. When Underdog to Wonder Dog returns. 
Every pet is unique. Maybe they're gray in the muzzle, yet young at heart. Maybe they're growing out of the puppy stage and into their paws and ears. Or maybe they're just trying to maintain a more girlish figure. At PetSmart, we have the right food for your pet at a great value for you. PetSmart. Be better together. Do you know what causes most colds? <laughs> the rhinovirus. And it's just waiting to run you down. Used to be, the only way to deal with your cold was to cover up the symptoms, but the cold was still there. Zycam is different. Taken at the first sign, Zycam is clinically proven to shorten a cold. So don't let a cold run you down. Get over it faster with Zycam. And also from Zycam Cold Remedy, try our newest great tasting rapid melt tablets. How are these locale lunches? Bland. Liven up locale with Long John Silver's delicious new 350 calorie lunches. Low calories, big taste, just $4.99. Only at Long John Silver's. Rocky, you went the distance. You went the 15 rounds. How do you feel? I feel all right. What were you thinking about when the buzzer sounded? Adrian! Rocky! Rocky! Rocky, how about a rematch? I don't need a rematch. Adrian! Rocky! Rocky, one last question. Ow! Adrian! Rocky! I've had enough things on my face today. Adrian! Adrian! Rocky! I love you! And I love you! The chocolate chip classic that's totally irresistible. Chips Ahoy! They go fast! Now your heavy days are under control. Always Infinity has Infinicel, a material so absorbent, it'll help to change your period experience forever. Discover it now and believe. Always Infinity. Have a happy period. Friday on Jockeys. It's the most important horse racing of the year, the Breeders' Cup. There's a chance that I'll be sitting on the bench that day. A 30-year veteran struggles to enter the race. And that's very painful. While a young hotshot races for fame and fortune. It's almost like a fairy tale. On a record-setting horse. Man, I want to go now. I want to race now. The Breeders' Cup will determine their future. Yeah. Oh, wait, Jockeys, all new, Friday night at 9, only on Animal Planet. The catastrophes, the resiliency, and the epic struggle to survive. Animal Armageddon, all new episode Thursday at 9, only on Animal Planet. Venus's leg surgery was a success. After a lifetime spent in a cage and suffering from pain in her deformed foot, this one and a half year old lab's luck is finally starting to change. Now she's on the road to recovery. While Venus begins her rehab at the hospital, the team and I are working on getting things ready at the halls for when Venus finally comes home. My plans have changed dramatically. I can no longer continue working on the, the project I started on because Venus needs to be safe. I'm now working on a ramp for her coming off of the deck so that she doesn't have to walk down the steps. Venus is going to come through this hall, uh -huh. land down here, and then walk on down. Jay came outside to check out the changes we were making to the deck. Since we don't want Venus going down the steps, I figured that the best thing to do is to give her a ramp. And it's strong as could be, too. It's after everything gets nailed up, because I know the boys are going to want to test it out. Speaking of the boys, how uh, are they all right? They, they they're taking uh, this? It's been a little rough on them. They've been waiting for Venus to come home, and you know, it's a daily conversation in our house. But I keep telling them, you know, the longer she does stay in the hospital, the shorter the period of time that she has to recuperate when she gets here. When's Venus coming home? She's coming home soon, Trev. It's hard to wait for Venus to come home. Every week, they ask about her. Is she coming home now? Is she coming home? I know it's tough to keep the boys patient. Yeah. yeah. So all I ask is that you let them know that, you know what, she's going to come back, she's going to be recovered, but she's going to need a lot of help from the yeah. boys. I think it's been a struggle for the family. I think they've had a hard time with this. I think it was a hard decision to take Venus in. And I think it's hard now that the boys expected Venus to be here by now for them to remain patient, and they're handling it with class and grace. She's been on strict bed rest, but now that Venus was ready for visitors, the team and I hurried over to see our pup. You know, the one thing that I'm looking forward to seeing is that smile she always has on her face. As long as I see that, everything will be OK. When I saw that apparatus on her leg after her surgery, I thought it would be weeks and weeks and weeks before she walked. I 
and she comes walking around the corner. And I couldn't believe it. Look who's here. Hi, Oh, she's lost a lot of weight. She's lost about five pounds since she's been here. Uh, right now, she's just starting to use her foot again. She's taking her first steps. She's doing very well. Um, it's very important at this point that we still keep her somewhat activity restricted okay. and that she's basically crate rested through most of the day. But we do want her to use her leg as much as possible, so walking is actually really good for her. So we want her to go on slow, short walks multiple times a day okay. um, and encourage her to use the leg at a walk. Can I take her for a walk now? Sure. All right. Venus is a little timid putting weight on that foot, but she's doing it. Slow, slow, slow. Good, slow. perfect. She's walking back and forth with confidence, feeling good. I'm very excited to watch Venus recover. After all she's been through, it means that she can look forward to a life of running, playing, and just having fun every day. Venus has several more weeks of recovery ahead of her. And while we continue to visit and help her through the rehab, we also need to help the Hall family prepare for Venus's arrival. I wanted to come to talk to you guys a little bit about the big part that you're gonna play in Venus's recovery. The most important thing is that Venus really needs to be rested for most of the day. Anytime when you guys aren't just hanging out with her, she's gonna be resting in her crate. Do you guys know what a crate is? Yeah. Yes. Crate rest is really one of the most important parts of Venus's recovery. We got her a good sized crate. This is big enough for her to, to lie down comfortably and to stand up. You guys are gonna teach her to be really comfortable in the crate by not only making it really cozy for her, but also by giving her her meals in there. We call these puzzle or enrichment toys. These are toys that you can put food into, and when we put it on the ground and if we push it, the food's gonna come out. <laughs> so imagine Venus using her paw and her nose to push this around so that she can get her meals. It's a way of her getting some form of mental and physical exercise so that she doesn't go kind of stir crazy and feel like she's too pent up. So you get this one. Hi. You guys can use all sorts of things to stuff in here. Can you guys think of some stuff that you could put in here that would be safe for Venus to eat? Turkey. You can use turkey. Meat. Yes. I think the toys that Andrea brought were pretty cool, and I think the boys really enjoyed trying to figure them out, too, so I think that will give them uh, a chance to interact with Venus and have fun with her, too. Do you have any other questions about Venus's recovery and what we need to do it's every day? Awesome. coming back. Venus is still recovering. And so we want to make sure she's really ready before we bring her home to you guys. It's been hard to wait for Venus to come home. While Venus has been making progress in her lengthy recovery at the hospital, you were hungry. Allie takes the opportunity to keep up on Venus's grooming and give her some extra special attention. Hi, Venus. How are you doing? I came to groom Venus today, not only to make her look better on the outside, but also to feel better on the inside. Sometimes just like a person, when you're healing and you feel loved, your body will respond to that and you'll actually heal faster. How's that leg, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, such a good sport. Just a quick little de-shed. I really think Venus responded well to today's session, and I'm really happy I could do something to make her feel better. Better. Hey, Renee. Hi, Andrea. Today I came to the Animal Medical Center to help with Venus's physical recovery. Strengthening exercises should be done every other day, a couple times a day. First step is over here, we're gonna walk over this obstacle course. This just um, shifts her weight over so she has to use it and it causes all those muscles to contract in her forelimb. At this point, the expectations for Venus's recovery are really about her taking baby steps in the right direction. Perfect. Nobody expects that she'll be running around right now. And this is a great exercise because we can vary the height of the rails. She's forced to pick up her, her leg and flex um, the shoulder. We do hope that with these small steps through physical rehabilitation, she'll be a dog who in the next few months will be able to run and play just like any other dog. You've done a really good job with You're it. You're a good girl. Yeah. Good girl. When we return, the hall's wait is finally over. <laughs> Plus, David reveals his big surprise. Whoa! When Underdog to Wonder Dog returns. Hot waffles. The smell of warm maple syrup. You know the smell after it rains? That's it. Leather-bound books. Classic. 
Whatever scents fill your household, Tidy Cat Scoop offers a new range of products specially formulated to neutralize odors in multiple cat homes, keeping your house smelling like it should, smelling like home. New Tidy Cat Scoop. Keep home smelling like home. Right now, we're giving you something big to celebrate. Because when you buy a four-night Walt Disney World room and ticket package, you get three more nights free on select nights through August 15th. Book through March 29th. Call 407-W-Disney today. Every pet is unique. Maybe they're gray in the muzzle, yet young at heart. Maybe they're growing out of the puppy stage and into their paws and ears. Or maybe they're just trying to maintain a more girlish figure. At PetSmart, we have the right food for your pet at a great value for you. PetSmart. Be better together. Ah, that's the new 501 cereal. Frosted shredded wheat. Yeah, but I'm throwing it away. Why? You seem to really like it. I do. My wife wants me to. She says there can't be any fiber in it. It's got a third of a day's worth of fiber. It tastes way too good to have fiber. Ten crunchy little layers frosted to perfection. I eat what I want. She's here, isn't she? She is. Hey. New fiber one frosted shredded wheat. Cardboard, no. Delicious, yes. Teach me tiger how to kiss you. Wow, 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 wow. Who's on demand? Good old Tom is on demand. Tune in to Searchlight 888 to find Good Old Tom Showcase and get loads of valuable information about gold, silver, coins, stamps, and all your antique collectibles. To learn more about Good Old Tom, press 888 on your Comcast digital remote. Choose shopping, then Good Old Tom. Choose from many topics and let Tom show you the benefit of bringing your precious collectibles to Good Old Tom. Join Good Old Tom today, on demand from Comcast. What about Ken? What about Ken? He's just a car dealer. Yeah, but he did get us a really great deal on this Toyota. Yeah, come, come on, on Ken! Toyota! I grew up in the same of Colchester, like having a dealer in the family. Yes, you'll get a big selection. But when it comes to price and service, well, you're part of the family. Toyota of Colchester. I have to go to the bathroom. It's What to Watch, says Entertainment Weekly. Jockeys. The critics have spoken. Jockeys is backstabbing big money drama on and off the track. A trifecta of unscripted gold. Animals, danger, little people. Someone should option the movie rights now. Until then. Just watch Jockeys on Animal Planet. Friday at 9. Why do you have to move a shot like that? Venus, a one-and-a-half-year-old lab with a deformed foot, has spent her entire life in shelters and hasn't seen a lot of happiness. But the team and I had arranged for life-altering surgery and found her a forever home. For the past few weeks, we've been working hard to get Venus ready. While physical therapy with Andrea has Venus getting stronger, extra special care from Allie has her feeling good, both inside and out. And David's been working non-stop to get things ready at the halls. All this hard work is paying off. Now, Venus is finally ready to go home. After so long and after so much work by so many people, it's amazing that Venus's big day has finally arrived. Hey, guys. So she's been doing really well. It's a big day today. What we wanted to show you is her most recent x-rays, because um, the, the goal of this is obviously to make her leg straight. You can see the difference here. These are before x-rays, where she has the big curvature in her bone. Her joints are not well aligned. And now this is where we are today. So you can see her joints are almost perfectly aligned. Looking at the before x-rays and the after x-rays of Venus's leg, it's amazing to see the transformation. And with a little bit more rehab, she'll be good to go. How much longer is your rehab process going to go? What happens from here? We want to make sure, again, that she's walking and she's using the leg very well and consistently, and that you're starting to see an increase, a very slow, gradual increase in the amount that she uses the leg. No running, no jumping, while she has the fixator on, because we need that bone to heal, OK? 
Venus was a dog that from birth was sentenced to live a short, painful life in a shelter. Through the amazing expertise and compassion of everybody here, it looks like Venus has a whole new life ahead of her. Because of Venus's medical condition, I can't do a full grooming for her. So I took all of my grooming energy and I knitted her a little cozy for her surgery apparatus. Well, you guys, we can't thank you enough for everything you've done for Venus, but it's time to take her to her new home. Yes. She's gonna miss you too. The halls are definitely ready for Venus to come home and to follow through on her recovery. And I feel like this is sort of like the first day of the rest of her life. Venus has come so far. She was a dog who sat in a shelter for basically her entire life. It has been such a long wait for Venus to come home. The boys have been every night. When's Venus coming? Is she coming this week? I'm really excited for Venus to come home and finally meet our family. Venus has been on an incredible journey with the surgery, with the rehab, all this time, weeks and weeks of recovery, and finally, she's coming home. It was incredible to finally see Venus today. It was a long journey, and the boy's reaction was, was well worth the wait. Awesome! <laughs> she looked so cute, and I didn't know like she was going to look that cute. You're our first family. Yeah. 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 I don't think the Halls could have waited one more day to welcome Venus into their home. They couldn't wait to get her. I think she's really excited to see you guys, yeah. too. Yeah. Too. She's so happy. You could also tell that Venus knew that this was her family now. They formed a perfect picture. It was beautiful to see. All right, Hall family. I wanted to go over with you guys some of the basics of how you guys are gonna help Venus recover. The most important thing is really making sure that she has a lot of crate rest. Andre, do you wanna help? Here's a treat. I want you to come over here. You're gonna open up the door. I know that everybody's very excited in the Hall family to spend a lot of time with Venus. They also had to make sure that a good part of her time was focused on her resting. And the other thing is when you guys take her out for walks, you really need to make sure to keep them very, very brief. And the slower that you guys can get her to walk, the better. I'm gonna be able to help my parents um, with Venus for um, a long time because um, of her foot. I heard you guys had made some get well cards for Venus. Yeah. Get well soon, Venus. Andrew, that's good. The smile on their faces to finally have her home and, and put those cards up on the wall was huge for them. She was at the top. You guys could create little sort of obstacle courses for Venus that would help to build up her muscles. Can you guys imagine what we're gonna do with these pillows? Oh, she's gonna run up them. Exactly, but because they're soft and they kind of wobble a little bit, it's good because it makes Venus have to work on her balance. So you're gonna come over here, reach all the way over. I think the home physical therapy is gonna be great for all of us. All of us can get right in there. We can all teach her, we can all help her, and it's something we can do together as a family. I think she likes the yoga mat just for snuggles. <laughs> Guys, we got a big surprise for you. It's a free one-year supply of Purina One dog food courtesy of Purina One. Wow. You don't have to worry about food for a whole year. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Coming up, David introduces Venus to her new backyard. Perfect. Right, Good. Guys. And see the extra special surprise he has in store for the boys. When Underdog to Wonder Dog returns. Now it's time for the Underdog to Wonder Dog before shot. Brought to you by Bissell. We mean clean. Allie's goal is to control Venus's shedding, keep her feeling great, and give her post-surgery look some pizzazz. Stay tuned after the break for Venus's amazing transformation. I run a doggy daycare. Use your inside voice. Things can get a little hectic, not to mention messy. Mr. Jiggles. Thankfully, the Pro Heat 2X from Bissell is always there for me. It's got twice the brushes and twice the heat. For a deep clean, you can see. Bissell. We mean clean. Get your pet on the box. Enter for a chance to win at Bissell.com slash MVP. How much refreshment does just one dollar buy? Well, that depends who's pouring. 
Kool-Aid, delivering more smiles per gallon. Oh, I just don't seem to sweat anymore. Everybody sweats, especially now during tax time. Oh, I don't worry about my taxes. I got people. The H&R Block guarantee, guaranteed accuracy, and we stand behind you if you get audited. H&R Block, you've got people. Inner beauty is important, but not nearly as important as outer beauty. Uh. <laughs> That's why I use CoverGirl's new Simply Ageless Makeup with Olay Regenerous Serum. A department store brand can glob up in lines and wrinkles and actually make you look older. Simply Ageless stays suspended over lines and makes you look amazing. So I say new Simply Ageless from Olay. An easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Oh, how much are these? No, no, no. Those aren't for sale. Oh, I'm sorry. My mom's a little crazy about her antiques. Antiques? They're rollover minutes. Yeah, from like six months ago. But they're still good. You know, saving minutes saves money. And these days, we can't afford to be wasteful. Not everyone gets to keep their unused minutes. Oh, cool. Uh, 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 uh. Beat it, kid. Only AT&T's family talk with rollover saves your family's unused minutes. And saving minutes saves money. Get the touchscreen view for $49.99 after mail-in rebate. Only from AT&T. Unloved, untrained, unhealthy. How will one team transform one dog from underdog to wonder dog? It's kind of a miracle. Underdog to wonder dog. All new next Saturday night at 8 on Animal Planet. You don't have to take this, Wendy. Really? You're a Comcast digital cable customer, so you can stop your on-demand movie and finish it in another room. I didn't know that. Now you know. May I suggest a room downstairs? Any room on demand lets you start watching in one room, finish in another. Learn more at Comcast.com slash any room. Get the best deals of the year on a presidential selection of cars and trucks. It's our hail to the sale. Going on now at Lawrence and Toyota Scion, where you'll always get the John Lawrence and Advantage. Put your tax return to good use when you buy any new 09 Toyota Camry from only $17,495. Get financing as low as 2.9% and keep more presidents in your pocket this February. Don't miss our hail to the sale. Rush to Lawrence and Toyota Scion, a proud member of the Lawrence and Auto Group. It's time for the underdog to wonder dog before and after shot. Brought to you by Bissell. We mean clean. Allie wiped down Venus's coat, brushed out the excess hair, and knitted her a cozy to dress up her brace, giving her a fresh look. Months ago, Venus, a one and a half year old lab, was destined to spend the rest of her life inside a shelter, suffering with a painfully deformed foot. Today, Venus's future is bright. Surgery has corrected her foot, a loving family has given her a forever home, and a happy, playful life awaits her. To help the halls with Venus's recovery, David's built something special. You know, after we realized how serious Venus's injury was, I made this ramp. And this ramp is going to make going outside a little bit easier for Venus. I think Venus is going to need a lot of rest because of her foot. Venus doesn't understand how to use the ramp yet, and it's really important that you, as her new family, work with her to teach her what you want. Take the little treat, and you're going to take your hand and go underneath here, and then stand where I am. So just walk down with her. There you go. Perfect. Right, Good. Guys. It was really wonderful to see that they really seem to understand. OK, so help her back up. That it's going to require them to be a little extra careful and a little extra loving with her in order to help her to fully recover. Good work. All right. Good job, you guys. It's good so she won't have to go on the steps and hurt her leg. You know, even though I had to make this a priority for Venus, I did find time to make a little something in the backyard. Oh. So you want to come check it out? What is it? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'll show you. All right, guys, so I know how much you guys love baseball. And right here, that's second base. And over there is first. And although you can't see it, I chalked out both foul lines and also the batter's box. Sweet. I'm looking forward to Venus having her cast off so then we could play baseball. This way you guys can use this field and be able to play baseball with Venus and have fun. So continuing with the baseball theme, I've got something pretty cool to show you. Wow. Yes, it's impressive. <laughs> well, guys, I've been waiting a long time to do this, so you're going to have fun. Wow! Yeah! 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 The 
family loved David's Doggy Skybox. He made it look so authentic. It's like being on a real baseball field. I figured how nice would it be to have a wall that you could try and hit home runs over. Oh. Yeah! My favorite thing of the doghouse is the flag that says Venus. You know, I like the old time baseball parks. And if you look, these numbers, they come off. And as you guys score runs, you could, you could put your scores on. Venus isn't allowed to come up yet. Uh oh. Because these are pretty. These are pretty big steps. Oh. Because there's stairs on the way up. We said, oh well, Venus can't go up right now. You're gonna go up. <laughs> and without missing a beat, Jay picked her up and they went up to the top of the sky box. It was a really special thing to see, and we got a great view of the whole neighborhood. Yay. Oh, I definitely think once Venus is recovered, that that sky box is gonna be the place for our family to hang out. Well, you guys, thank you so much for having us. We're giving you our little Venus. You gonna help her get all better? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna help mom and dad take care of Venus. I think Venus is gonna help them grow up a little bit, too. Well, our work is done. What do you guys say? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm really excited to finally just have a dog. From day one, the Hall family has been committed to Venus's rehab. She's got another five to six weeks with the apparatus on. By springtime, she's going to be able to have a normal life. She's going to be able to run and jump and play just like any other dog.